GuitarHouseOfTulsa.com. It's good to have you with us still on Explore Tulsa and appreciate you sticking around. Spring is upon us and it's time to start planning what to do with your garden. But before you do, you'll want to pay close attention to our next guest. When we first heard about green country permaculture, I thought you guys wanted to do something crazy with my hair, right? But permaculture is actually an agricultural system that's been around since the 70s. And we stopped in to meet Sam Sneller and his partners who are working with Langston University to help get Tulsa on track to find a better way to work with nature and develop more productive and sustainable gardens and farms. Uh, we're here working through the uh, Urban Ag Connections grant through Langston University, working at McLean High School. Um, I think it's really powerful what we're doing here. We're working with young people and we're trying to give them um, sustainable living skills, real life skills, you know, things that they can use in their communities um, to empower their households and their communities as a whole. And permaculture is an idea that models itself off of nature. You know, it models itself that nature is the most permanent thing we have in this world. And a lot of our production systems are not model to be permanent and so let's take some insights from nature and apply that to uh, food production, to lifestyle, to education. For me uh, the important thing is the fact that um, I'm a Tulsa native and this is going on right here in Tulsa. Um, we've never really had anything like this before, uh, green startup programs in uh, educational institutions. Um, we're kind of at the forefront of a uh, green revolution in Tulsa and we really feel that we're moving in the right direction and it starts with the kids and that's really what our goal is, is to bring it into the classrooms and not your typical um, educational atmosphere where you're teaching something on a chalkboard or out of a book. We believe in experiential learning. It's exciting for to come here and uh, expose these ideas to, to kids that would otherwise view um, you know, food production as just a commodity and uh, you know, we, we really try and get the kids connected with uh, the plants that we're growing and uh, you know, where their food comes from. I uh, started teaching uh, five years ago here and noticed that we had a greenhouse that was not being used. It was originally set up in, by, for future farmers of America and uh, I thought that it would be an excellent opportunity for children to actually come and interact in the environment in a classroom setting and be able to explore scientific methods and give them a place to have something to do outside of the classroom and interact with nature. We've been going over how to make um, organic fertilizers out of plants that are readily available, um, how to plant plants that you can actually save seed from, you know. Um, it's really been interesting to see some of the kids get interested in the entrepreneurial um, pursuits that we've kind of presented to them. Um, you start simple with a seed and you can grow it into a plant and you grow it organically and you tie ethics to that and you put value into something, something that a big box store um, doesn't have. And being a Tulsa native, I'm really proud of the fact that we have uh, Sustainable Tulsa and Langston University backing a green program like that and just allowing us to be able to teach these children um, these wonderful self-reliance and sustain sustainable living skills. Well, we are uh, demonstrating a nursery model, um, how to make your own soil, not to buy potting mix, but how to source things locally and make your own potting soil, um, how to start plants from seeds and how to transplant those. We're growing mostly edible crops, um, also some medicinal crops, plants we can use, you know, plants that go beyond just sheer ornamental value, plants that actually have value for people. Um, I think it's really important to include, if you're going to plant something, why not make it edible or medicinal or useful? Um, we're going to be at Easter Island Music Festival April 13th and 14th doing workshops uh, that Friday and Saturday on uh, sustainable living skills and self-reliant skills. So we're trying to spread the word in Tulsa and, and uh, I feel like that we're, uh, we're really accomplishing that um, as you can see here today.
I'm so glad there are folks like Sam and the guys at Green Country Permaculture because I do not have a green thumb at all. You know, and I actually learned something on location from Sam. He actually plants certain plants around the garden to attract bees that will pollinate the garden and also eat the insects. I'm just glad you learned about the birds and the bees finally. It took a little while, but hey, I get you on. And to learn more about the guys, please visit their website at Green Country Permaculture on Facebook. And stay with us for 